Hello, welcome to the Salesforce CPQ video training session. In this video, I'll be talking about the price rules. Using the price rules, you can modify the quote lines and you can also update the price calculation. Let's open the quote. We have already seen like how the product rule works. Using the product rules, you can make selection or deselection of the quote lines based on some certain logic. Similarly, you can also perform operation on the actual field using the price rules. In some scenarios, you will need to update calculation based on some of the business scenario. For example, let's say right now on the quote, I have two quote lines and those are belongs to the family called hardware. And I need to implement the logic where if the quantity of any of the hardware product changed to or it entered by more than 10 then I will have to give a discount of 10% or 50% additional. So indirectly we are modifying the quote line based on some certain conditions. So here we have two conditions. First is if the family is hardware and if the quantity is more than 10 and our action will be to apply the additional 15% discount. So let's build a simple price rules around it to get that calculation. So here I am on the second tab and uh, I have already opened the price rules. Click on the new. Update. Discounts for. Make it active. All right. When you create a new price rules, you will get the options to select the evolution scope, configurator, and calculator. Whenever you want to execute your price rules within the product bundle, that time you can choose the configurator, else calculator. So I'll be having two conditions for this price rule. So I'm going to keep condition met is equal to all. And uh, since we do not have any price rules configured earlier, so it doesn't matter like what evolution order you set. All right. So I have saved this new price rule. Now go to the related list. So here you can see uh, we have uh, options to create new price condition and the price action. So let's first build the price conditions. So as I said earlier, we have to compare each quote line with their family and the enter discount. So first let's compare with the family. Since we are playing on the quote lines, uh, we have to choose the option called quote line. If it is calculator, then you will have to select the quote line. But if it is on the configurator, then you can set the product option. On quote line, if field is so here, uh, please note that I mean, whenever you find that uh, some of the fields might not be available on your org, so you will have to go to the object and open that particular field, and uh, you'll have to update your pick list. So this is the API name of the product family and the quantity. Uh, so basically, those are the fields on the quote line object. Since I'm already referred the quote line here. So I'm going to choose the product family. Uh, we have options to compare with the formulas and uh, not only with that, yeah, you can again create a summary variable and you can get the calculation and that you can compare with the another field. But uh, right now uh, we can simply provide a static condition. So uh, we have already set the field called product family. equal value. So if you use the summary variable, then you will have to set the variable. But right now I'm going to set the value. And value will be hardware. All right, so uh, one condition is built. So let's go for another one. Again, the 
object will be outline and the second field that we need to compare is the quantity so here i am going to set that greater or equal value t so it will check for particular for every quote line uh, which are belongs to the product family called hardware and having quantity more than 10 all right so our price condition setup is done let's move to the price action what action you need to perform on the particular code which are going to satisfy your price condition our target object is the code line and the target field is the discount so these are the already pre-configured fields here if you do not found here so as i said earlier you will have to update the target field pick list and you can keep the actual api name of that field here so i'm just going to apply the discount percent and value will be 15. so this is again uh, pretty much straightforward uh, i mean very simple price rules i will say uh, but let's see it on the code how it will execute and uh, how it, it will reflect the change so let's first go back to the price rule. Oh, that is already active. So as you can see here, uh, there is no additional discount. Uh, although I have entered the quantity 10. Let's go back to the quote and uh, reopen this again. delete the existing code line now I am going to add new product basically uh, these three options belongs to the product family called hardware so I don't find any issue to execute that price rule here all right so uh, if you can see here the quantity is now one and their net price is $75,000 so let's update the quantity by 10 so as you can see the additional discount is applied automatically but for rest of the product option it did not update it because the quantity is still I mean although the family is same but the quantity is below the price condition so let's again go and update the quantity 20 price rules execute on either you can click on quick save or save or the calculate so I can click on quick save again so uh, here you can see the additional 15% discount is applied on the second quote line so this is again pretty much straightforward uh, you can automate your existing I mean uh, apart from the standard uh, calculations given by the CPQ you can perform additional calculation using the price rules you can update the quote line fields quote fields as well and uh, you can register the price rules on various events so that you need to understand before developing any kind of price rule what execution and when your calculation is going to be happen uh just try to update if you are going to update any uh total field which is related to the price try to update those fields on the after calculation event so that uh, you will get all the prior calculation happen before executing your price rules and uh, you won't find any issue while creating such a type of price rules using price rules again you can uh, associate with the custom lookup object uh, through which you can get the data and uh, you can apply directly here so most probably I will be having separate video for that to using the lookup object inside the price rules or the product rules but uh, as of now I guess uh, this is enough to understand how the price rules works 
it's a bit similar so let's go back to the price rules again and see uh, see, see their fields again first of all you need to set the price rules evolution scope conditions and you need to set the evolution order so keep a note that uh, whenever you're going to design the price rules keep them in a sequential way or try to understand like what calculation is going to be happen in what sequence and accordingly you will need to set the evolution order because if one price rules is dependent on other price rules so dependent price rules must execute after the dependent price rule so that uh, the the price rules which is going to be executed later will get the updated values so that thing you will need to keep in uh, you will need to keep in mind uh, before creating the new price rules and for related uh, it's again simple i mean you just need to create a price conditions and the price action i guess that is enough to understand the price rules thank you